you've got to understand, the work this guy was doing was so high concept that regular amounts of cocaine just weren't cutting it. By the end, they were bringing it in by the lorry load. Now, as you might imagine, snorting that much cocaine can't be healthy for a regular human, right? Right. Wrong. All day, baby. Hey, Tequila, pay attention. The story goes that one day he was balls deep in work on what he thought would be his pièce de résistance, an advert so minimal it contained neither text nor images, just pure white. Apparently the idea was too high concept even for this genius. He dropped dead right at his desk before he could finish. His last words are recorded to have been, It's as white as a blizzard of cocaine. But the story doesn't end there. Supposedly, when they performed the autopsy, the coroner discovered nearly a quarter kilo of coke jammed into his nasal cavity. That's right. 250 grams of blow had accumulated in there over the years. We're talking high-grade Saramaritzian pure. Not that cut-rate shit your grandma does. There are those who believe the designer was buried with this quarter key of nose candy still lodged in his sinuses. That's what those expeditions are looking for. The cocaine skull. The Cocaine Skull. Here's the kicker. This designer, this lead designer of a world-famous design studio, was born in Martinez. A local boy, Martin Martinez. That's why he brought his studio here, back to where it all began. And that's why they buried him here, too. Perhaps right under Ab's pipe there. Or probably further down the coast, or in some yard in Martinez proper. A hidden mausoleum, no one knows exactly. No, my grandma always told me his grave lay somewhere on the islets on the bay. This is ludicrous, and physically impossible. Sinuses can contain that amount of anything. Now, now, detective. Always the skeptic. Don't listen to him or his grandma. He's just making things up. No, my grandma told me. I've heard other people say it too. That it's underwater. Or no, maybe it was the storm suit. Or maybe it's in the air. Or in an ancient state pyramid of shore. In a pyramid? Now that would be something. The archaeologists say they want to put it in a museum, the gangsters say they want to sell it on the black market, and the ad agency guys say they're seeking inspiration. Bullshit. They just want to snort it. But you could beat them to it, Harry. You could snort the magic skull cocaine instead. I'm pretty sure they all just want to snort it, though. And why wouldn't they, eh? Sounds like right strong stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on just a minute. Finding it right now is literally impossible. What? For one, the way is blocked. By that big lorry that says Delta Logistics Company on the side. You definitely have to search the area behind that lorry too. Yet, it is impassable. And second, outfitting an expedition like that is expensive. It'd have to be a big production to do the cocaine skull justice. You need new gear, people who know what they're doing, all kinds of provisions. It's just not feasible within the economic and temporal frame of our current setup. Matter of fact, unless a bunch of money just falls out of the sky, we might never know what's up with that skull. I have to agree. We barely have what we need to solve the case we've got now. We can't afford to run around chasing after quasi-mythical pieces of drug paraphernalia. Besides, it would look extremely bad for the RCM to be caught up in something that has the word cocaine writ large on it. The PR is tricky on this. Wait, maybe there's another way. Maybe up around the coast? 
Don't give up now. Yeah, well, that's the reality situation for you. Who knows, though? Maybe someday we'll get our chance. <laughs>